Good evening and welcome to the Clarity Christmas Craft Along. I hope that you can hear me and I hope that you can see me. Uh, I'm early to the party and uh, yeah, I'm early to the party. I got my two little buddies here with me, uh, my our good people. And uh, what a beautiful gift from Debbie Powell. Thank you so much, Debbie. And is anybody there apart from me? Paul, can I ask, are you in the building? And what we'll do then is we're just, we're just going to hang out together for an hour or so and make a card together and chill and celebrate. I've got, I've got a cup of tea. You rock. Good evening, Helen. Nice to have your company. Um, you rock. You rock, Helen. So we've got a nice cup of tea. And well, got a mince pie. Well, this is one of those spicy ones from Lidl's. He was shopped at Lidl's lately. He's very good, you know. Very Deutsch, very German. Come on in, guys. I know it's um, uh, it's it's the um, save the children on the television this evening, isn't it? And uh, children in need. I mean, and so I'm sure that you'll all be. You'll all be tuning into that and giving generously. But just for an hour or so, let's hang out. You, I know that you can multitask her, but you can pop in and out. Come and see if she's still in. Do you like my pyjamas? I know. I went all the way to Marks and Sparks for these today. I drove into... First time I've been to Marks and Sparks in Tunbridge Wells for at least two years. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> the, lady, the lady that was serving me, she said, you, are these for you, madam? I said, yes. She said, you sure you got the right size, dear? I said, what are you, oh, what are you trying to tell me? She said, these are the men's. <laughs> she said, you, you could go for a walk in these, love. And I don't mean go for a walk in these. I mean, go for a walk inside them. So, <laughs> so she frog marched me back to the Christmas pyjamas because I don't think Dave would fancy them. <laughs> And I got my I got my size 14s on. I'm thinking actually I probably should have gone with the men's. <laughs> That's all right. I'm meeting my way into them. It was the night before Christmas. What do you think about this? Isn't this a gorgeous thing? I bought it many, many, many years ago in the States. It was the night before Christmas. Went all through the house. Isn't it a beautiful throw? Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. We got those lovely stamps, haven't we, from when Grace was a Grace and Mark were little ones. Yeah, there you go. Paul says, "Twas the night background is beautiful." Get it out every Christmas. It goes on the couch, on the sofa. Come on in, come on in. I'm with you for the next hour, Barbara. Good. I'm glad to hear it, Teresa. So let's light a candle. Um, you got your PJs on as well. I just thought, yeah. I thought, do you know what? It doesn't take long to go into Tunbridge Wells. Now, matches. Dave made the candle holder. So I thought we'd light a candle. And then, and then we'll, don't you find candles are very, they calm you down, don't they? Hey, cup of tea, mince pie and a candle. Now, if that's not Christmas, I don't know what is. There you go. Oh. <laughs> In a minute. You see smoke coming out, <laughs> billowing out from this corner. Give us a shout. <laughs> Actually, I ought to do what my granddad did. That's it. <laughs> right, you ready? Stop larking about, Gray. There you go. It's the little things. My mum, at Christmas, we're German, as you know, and at Christmas she's got an Adventskranz, and it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's a copper thing, and um, it's like a star, and she puts four candles. It's like our Advent wreath, and every Sunday she lights a candle. And it's a real ceremony, even today in our house, on the, uh, on the four Sundays. It's really lovely. Yeah, so there you go. And it must be coming up soon, a couple of weeks, eh? What do you think? Hello, Barbara and Paul and everyone. Going to enjoy this tonight as always. 
Thank you, Beth. I hope we do. So while I'm waffling, why don't I tell you what you need, just in case you're not sure. I'll show you what we're going to make, all right? It's a simple little card, okay? I show, and then we can, we can have a bit of banter while you get your bits and pieces. So there's the simple little card that we're going to make. Let's just keep it sweet. Keep it sweet tonight, okay? So here we go. This is the card, which is really nice. And what we're going to use, well, let me just get my... Get a bit of copy paper so you can see the stamps. My well-loved stamps. These are those, the goo people. Do you remember when we doodled them in the shack? Do you remember? Well, we're going to use one of those, and then we're going to use all these little elements up here to build a tree. Cool. And also, we're probably going to need a ruler um, to mount that. And, yeah, this is pretty nice. This set's pretty cool anyway, but if you're crafting along, you'll hopefully have it by now, right? And I'll show you how to use it. So you need that, right? What else we got on our list? Let's have a look. Good gnome stamps, right? We sorted that out. White card. Okay, white card. What do we need? Well, here we go. We need six by six card blank. And what I've done is I've cut it into two pieces. Okay, let's just, this is this is so you get it while I'm waffling, you could get this ready. Six by six. Now, what we're going to do is make a four and a half inch box, and that will be our template. See, we're going to draw around it. Or for our, um, for our German friends and metric people, 11.6 centimeters, right? And then we'll draw around it, and that will be our, that will be there. So then you know exactly where to stamp, you see? So there you go. So you've got a six by six car blank. Cut it in, cut it in half. What I've done is just take that, cut it on the fold, then you've got your piece of paper, got your card that's about the right size, that'll do. And then four and a half inches, and then you're gonna go like that. So you take a five by five, cut cut half inch off, and then use it as a template. There we are. There you go. That's that. White card. What else do we need? Okay, I think it's important if you're going to be crafting along, that's what you need. Have you got any jokes? Have you brought any jokes with you? Have you? I just had the funniest laugh with Dave because <laughs> I've got a list of jokes here, right? And he's really good at guessing cracker jokes. <laughs> so I gave him a couple and then he, he was really quick. So then I said to him, all right, why did the man get the sack from the orange juice factory. Here's one for you. Why did the man get the sack from the orange juice factory? Because <laughs> he, he was taking the piff. <laughs> no, no, because he couldn't concentrate. <laughs> I thought Dave's was better. Yeah. Why did he get the sack from the orange juice factory? Because he was taking the piff. <laughs> Anyway, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> He's obviously getting better, isn't he? Right, let's go back to what we need. <laughs> right, what else we need? Archival ink pad. Okay, archival ink pla pla plaid. Um, plum. I'm going to use plum, but you could use anything. Plum, sepia, brown, black, whatever you, you fancy. Okay. We're going to kind of keep it simple tonight. Perga colour pens. Right, what do I mean by Perga colour pens? Perga colour pens. Okay. Now, Perga colour pens. And I even wrote down which ones you need. So you can dig them out. One, two, three, four. That's not too hard to remember. Seven, eleven, and twenty-six. They're the colours that we're going to use. Look, I've already dug mine out. I know. She's on the ball tonight. Uh -uh. Right. So there you go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 11, 26. They could be the lucky winning lottery numbers this week. I think we ought to play them. 1, 2, 3, 4. What are the chances? <laughs> These are your lucky numbers. These are good numbers. Right, if someone, if someone plays these, right, and wins, share, please. <laughs> Right, so they're your numbers that you need. Okay, Perga colour pens. Mix mat. Right, mix mat. Uh, that's what I mean by a mix mat. You know, these things. Not the oil one. You need something that's got a bit of purchase on it. 
okay? Something that you can scribble the pen onto and add a tiny bit of water. And then you need the paintbrush. So really fine paintbrush, all right? You could use blending nibs as well, but paintbrush is better. It sweeps better. So I've got a couple of different ones there. Any old brush will do. Just got to be fine, otherwise you're not going to get around the little dots, are you? Okay, so we've got paintbrushes, blending pen and nibs if you fancy, perga glue and glitter, and a mapping pen. Right, so I'm going to actually saddle the horse backwards today because we never do the perga glue. We never do the perga glue. Right, you ready? What, what we're going to do now, I'm going to add the... This afternoon, what I did... This is while you're gathering your bits. I already took the mapping pen and I added glue to the hat. So I'm going to do it now to show you. It might not work actually, but we'll give it a go. Right, so we've got sticky ink. Okay, I'm going to do it now because maybe by the end you'll have cleared off and then I'll be sitting there on my own with me with my mapping pen. Um, so I'll do it now and then you'll know how to do it if we don't do it together so what you do let me just get i've got a bit of scrap here uh -huh. right and you're going to put your mapping when you when you get your mapping pen right do you do know don't you when it comes it comes like that it comes like that okay so that it's it it's protected in the pack and when you pull it out like that and then you stick it in there like that right there you go. And now you've got your, like, your calligraphy nib. Okay. Oh, I'm going a bit of a hauling to this. Right. And then you go in with your, try, don't shake it first. Right. Because then you're just dealing with bubbles. So you get a little bit of a puddle going in your pen. Right. Like that. And then let's just get it going. Just get it started. Right. Now, now I've got it started. Now I did the little yellow dots on the hat this afternoon um, because I wanted to see if it actually, how long. See, so I'm just putting a little bit of glitter on the, on the colored in, here you go, let's see if this works. So this is how you apply glitter. So where else should we put? I could, I could, I put glitter in the middle of the, I put a bit in the middle of the, the star, okay. And then you could, if you chose to, you could put glitter on all the dot, like the whole tree could be lit up like a Christmas tree, in fact. <laughs> but this is how you do it. So you take your, your calligraphy pen, okay, get it going, flush it in, and then just start depositing it. And if you want to do a larger area, so I'm doing dot, 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 it's a piece of cake. The thing is that I did the hat dots hours ago. So we want to see if it sticks. We've done all the colouring in, we've done all that. Now we want to see if it actually sticks if you did, because we always say it does. Well, let's see if it does. It might not. <laughs> right. And then, for example, we could, if you wanted to do a larger area, let's just do uh, one heart just for the sake of argument. And then you just swirl it around like that. Look, let's do two hearts. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just pressing, releasing a little bit from the well at the back of the pen, and then you just move it round. So those three hearts there, oh, it's very addictive, this, you see. They're quite wet now, aren't they? So we need to let those dry. Okay, so we've done that now. You, ca you can't have done that yet because we haven't done all the colour and everything yet. But I wanted to just show you. Then we'll let that dry and then we'll come back to it. How's that sound? You cool with that? Are you getting in this sort of Christmas spirit? Have you made any Christmas cards yet? Have you? <laughs> I've made I've made about three. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Be alright. Be alright. There's plenty of time yet. It's not Christmas yet, is it? Hmm? I'm I'm making I'm making presents this year, I decided. So I've been making ceramic stuff, pottery stuff course and uh, I've got some candle holders and Dave's making wooden ones I'm making ceramic ones uh, what else are we making what else did I start making oh yeah little bud vases really pretty out of porcelain they're nice yeah so I thought 
that's what I should do. Let's have a look. Right, so we'll pop this to one side and then we'll get started, shall we? Everybody happy? All all right. Okay, so you know what you need. I've waffled enough. Now you, you've actually, you should have everything that you need to get started, yeah? Okie dokie. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take our, our piece of six by six, all right? There we go. And we'll take our four and a half inch or 11.6 centimeter um, template. Stick that in the middle and then we'll get a pencil. I know I didn't say pencil, but I'm sure you've got one near you, right? And then we'll take a pencil and then we'll draw around it. I know it's not too tricky really, this is it, right? I just thought it would be nice to hang out together, make a card together on a Friday night. Ho, ho, ho and all that. There you go. That'll do. There, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> so, so far, so good. <laughs> all right. Cracker joke alert. Who is Rudolph's favourite pop star? Come on. Who's Rudolph's favourite pop star? Grace would like this one. Any, any takers? Beyond Slay. <laughs> right, that's it. I need a bit of, need a bit of piner. Mm. No good. Right, okay, we've done that. Next thing we're going to do, let's go back to this one. I've got to be careful now because... Now... <coughs> <clears throat> don't eat and talk at the same time, Barbara. Right, we're going to put this on next. The frame. Let's get the frame in. So, looks for frame on stamp set. Okay, so let's mount the stamps while we're eating our mince pie. Have you got mince pies or are you, are you on the sherry? You on the? Are you on the? Um, are you on the sherry? Are you? I, I would if I could. But I can't. Right, ruler. Um, when you do this, whether you take a pergamon or whatever ruler, right, you've got, you can feel it, you've got print on one side. Don't stick the stamp on the print side. Stick the stamp on the, on the back, if you like, on the, on the side that's, it's on the front, on the top, really. The side that hasn't got the print on, because how does she know this? I'm telling you now. If you don't, when you pull it off, you'll pull the print with it, which is not so good. Okay. Oh, I need another bit of that now. Right. Don't choke on the pie. Okay. Mm. I'm just reading some of these. What do you call a three-legged donkey? What do you call, we've got our donkeys back in the building. Can you see him? He's up there. From Brendan McCaw. Fabulous little thing. What do you call a three-legged donkey? A wonky. <laughs> anyway. I could read <laughs> cracker jokes. All day long. I think they're the best because they're clean and they're funny. Right. So what we're going to do now is ink up. Cool. He choked on it now. Ink up and we're stamping on the outside. On the outside. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm going to stand up for this though. Oh, I tell you what, I'm beginning to wish I had bought the men's ones. <laughs> Right, archival plum, and we'll just ink up the stamp on the ruler. Give it a go. Are you ready? Who's doing? Who's 
Who's crafting along with me? Have I got any anybody crafting along? Right, that will do. Mine, excuse my head. Down we go. Voila. That'll do. One. Okay. Old ink pad. Oh, it's not bad. Right, there you go. Turning the artwork. And then we'll go on the outside again. I've got my glasses on. <laughs> not good, is it? Now, let me just think. If that's the top, okay. Look at this. Look at which direction the hearts are going in. In fact, okay, if that's the top, then I want to go down here, right? I want to go down here. So I want to make sure the hearts are not upside down. Just saying. Okay. Let's do the top and the bottom first. Here we go. There we are. Okay. All right, so that's that. Good enough. Now we'll do the sides. So I, I think I, I'm going to, always on the outside of the line, hmm? but I think we'll do, I'm going to point the hearts inwards. I'll point the hearts inwards. Okay. All right, I've got another one. What's the difference? This is one of Dave's. <laughs> this is what we were doing in the kitchen before I came out here. What's the difference between a buffalo and a bison? What's the difference between a buffalo and a bison? You can't wash your hands in a buffalo. Ba bum <laughs> uh, Bison, do you get it? It's a bison. Bison. Anyway. And my favourite, my favourite cracker joke is um, why, why are pirates frightening? Because they are. <laughs> right, that'll do. Well, it certainly beats watching the news at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> there we are. Okay. I wanted to show you these little fellas. Look at these. Do you remember I was on the telly? Uh, I don't know. I was on the telly a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I think I was on the telly last week. Was it? It feels like months ago. Oh, how time fires when you're having fun. When did I do this then? It was those, um, oh, it was the week before last, wasn't it? These um, these stamps. Do you remember? The the big layout montage stamps. Oh, blooming brilliant they are. And on one of them, not this one, this one, I just grabbed them to show you where I got the little fellas from. Do you remember on this one? you got these three little guys. These are the three little goo people again, but they're in tiny weeny, 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 like ridiculously small. And I thought, I've got to show you how they stamp up. Look at that. That is so, look how tiny they are. So if you've got those, mount those up as well. They make fantastic tags. Look, just easy gift tags. I haven't got to do anything. Bit of glitter, little splash of colour come back to them right but we're on this at the moment so we've done that that's key okay hold that thought and then let me put that to one side and then what we'll do is the next thing we're going to put i think we'll put the hearts in this corner so let's go to our set let me go to this set and we're going to find these hearts right on this set yeah? All right, so we'll mount the heart. And what we're going to do, if I show you where we're going, I'll show you where we're going. And then it's easier, isn't it, when you know? Look, see the little hearts in the corner? Uh, de trois, quatre, right? Eins, zwei, drei, vier. These are the hearts that you're going to put in the corner. Right, so oh, that's that one there. That one there. Stick it on there like that so I can see it. 
And then I'm going to pop those hearts pointing inwards. Yeah. Easy, really, isn't it? I've just got, I'm just aware that I can't, I can't race. Okay. I can't race. What glasses? Whose glasses are these? I think I must have picked somebody else's glasses up. I can't see a thing. <laughs> right, let's have a go. Actually, do you know, I'm going to try this on a bit of scrap first. Not bad. I'll tell you what, my plum's seen better days as well. <laughs> my ink pad's getting quite old. I think I'll have to invest in a new one. That sounded really bad, Barbara Gray. Right, here we go. Un, deux, trois, quatre. It's still a little bit moist around the edge. Just shut up, Barbara. The ink pad is still wetter around the edge than it is in the middle. Right. Yeah, Paul, um, the, the man of innuendo, he's straight on it, steady with the plums. I oh, know, Paul. I know, I beat you to it. <laughs> you rock. Right, so we've got our four corners in place. Wunderbar. And then what we've got to do, done that, done that, done that, done that, done that. Right, so we've got that one just in case I couldn't manage it. <laughs> Let me just decide which one I want to go forward with, which one looks better. Oh, I'll just stick to the one I'm using, that'll do. Right, actually, that one doesn't look like that. <laughs> Uh, stick to the plan, Gray. Right, so next thing we want to do is stamp up one of these guys. So do you want to do the one? I mean, that's the thing. If you were making your own Christmas cards, this would be such an easy one to make, wouldn't it? So we've got, oh, yeah, see the sticky's coming now. Right, okay. So um, the little girl. But you could you could do this card and just use a different different one of the gnomes every time couldn't you right let's have a look so what we want to do move that out of the way a minute, Gray. what we want to do first stamp her into place right and she's going to be you've got to put her about there okay so just get the idea where she's going to be because if you put her over too far you won't have room well the tree will be too far behind her so you just look at this bit how far away do you say? How far I hear you say? Well, let's just measure it, shall we? It's about three quarters of an inch away. There you go, from here and here. So that'll do. Eyeball it. Eyeball it. That'll do, right. You don't want to eyeball it because you don't want to make a colix of it. That there's where I'm going to go. That'll do. Right, me dried up plum again, Paul. <laughs> I know, this is really old, this ink pad. I hope it's good enough for this job, though. Right, tap, 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 tap. Right, give it a go. And then plant the little girl. Right, that'll do. And then press gently on the flat of the stamp and transfer the ink to the card. There we are. Should do the job nicely. Wonderful. So there she is. She's in place. And then what we've got to do is before we put the tree in place, we've got to cover her up. Are we all good with this? Right, now what you need is the mask. Have you got your masks? I'm, I'm aware that there's ink, there's sticky ink on there. See, the sets come with the masks, don't they? So let's take one of these and let's cover her up. A pair of tweezers. And then we'll cover her up nicely, like so, with a pair of tweezers. Voila. That'll do. Okay, got it? Nice, nice, nice. So we've done that as well, and then we're going to put the we're going to put the um the tree in. So the next stage, let's just go to it. 
if we if we go back to the where's the original one gone? Oh, it's staring at me. Right. So what do we need? We need the tr the triangle, right? So we need the two triangles. Two triangles. On for the inside. I forgot to mention. <laughs> don't, don't get funny with me. I forgot to mention <laughs> that you also need, well, a yellow ink pad if you've got one. Okay. Oh, this chair. I'm going to replace this chair. Right. So I'm using sunflower, but you can use what we got here. Look, we've got we've got buttercup. We've got sunflower in that one. Oh look. What's this one then? Thistle. Well, thistle will work if my plum dries up. Ouch. Okay, so you need a yellow ink pad in a minute so that we can actually. I hate to tell you this, but you need a red one as well. <laughs> but the thing is, you don't have to. Really, if you haven't got a yellow ink pad and a red ink pad, it doesn't matter because you can use your pens to fill in, can't you? You know, choices, choices, choices. But most of us have got a stash of ink pads, so there you go. Now, we're going to mount our two stamps. Right, there you go. That's that one done. And there's that one there. Right, so... That's the outline one, and that's the infill one. So we'll do the outline one first. And what we'll do is we'll put our tree along here. See? One, two, three, four. Don't go down too far because you still got to put the, the trunk in. Yeah, so it's behind her hand, and we'll go there, and then we'll go four that way. Are you good with this? Are you ready? Right, here we go. And may I say, all this is, is a, is a bit of card, right? And it's not a competition. God, they are not my glasses. It's not a competition. Doesn't matter if it doesn't work out. What you're doing here is creating a template so that I do think when you, when you do something, if you, if you do it once, then you'll remember it the next time so this is if it, if it comes up lovely happy days yeah we've love from from you inside sorted card one down but if it doesn't come out lovely then use it as a template i've got a few samples you know because it's like we were talking about in the shack it's also about it's about um about getting with your hands isn't it? About making something. And the other thing that I've decided to do, rather than just knock out birth, Christmas birthday cards, Christmas cards this year, I was thinking, I'm going to make a list of people that I want to give cards to and that I want to give presents to. I'm going to make a proper list. It's not going to be a long list because I don't think that that is the whole purpose of Christmas, you know. It's not supposed to be that way. But I thought I'd make a list and I really enjoy, I'll think of each individual person and I'll think about that person while I'm making something for them or while I'm making the card, rather than just getting a load of cards, knocking them out, da, 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 you know, with love from. I'd rather, I'd rather just take my time and, and rather than go through the process, and just bash it out. This is the theory. Okay. <laughs> On the 20th of December, I'll be like, Grace, can you write them and I'll sign them? <laughs> you write. <won't. laughs> but in theory, what I'd like to do is really think about each and every person that I send, make, and send the card to. That's the theory. And it begins with a list. <laughs> right. Come on. Cracking on, cracking on. We got any more jokes? Let me see. I got I got some crack. I got some crackers here. Let's have a look. What have I got? Oh, I've done the wonky one. <laughs> what do you get if you eat Christmas decorations? What do you get if you eat Christmas decorations? <laughs> Tinselitis. <laughs> they are stupid, aren't they? <laughs> Tinsel light. Oh, come on, Grace. 
keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, okay. We're going to put the tree in next. Right, one. I'm starting behind her. And then I'm going to leave a little gap. Two, leave a little gap. Oh, my plum's definitely dried out. <laughs> Shut up, Paul. I can hear you, even if I can't. Right. Uh, okay, that'll do. Have you got that? <laughs> now, you see, you can make your tree any size you fancy. Look, you make little trees. You could make three little trees, couldn't you? You can make two large trees and a little to do what you fancy. It's all about the base, how many triangles you put in your base. And then you go in inside there. Right, here we go. Yeah, I'm not happy with this plum. That'll do. Right, one, two, three. Like that, good enough. And now we need the next two. It's not hard, is it, really? <laughs> I, I tell you what's hard is me trying to do this without putting my head in front of it. That's hard. Right, top one. Top tier, top tier. There we are. Who says? It's not bad, it's a little bit on the wonk. Good enough. Right, and then... We've done that. That's not bad. Should have maybe left a bit more of a gap. That's because I didn't put my head over it, you see. Couldn't see it properly. But it looks like a tree to me. Star next. We'll let that, we'll let that plum dry. <laughs> right. And then I'll go back in here and I'll look for my star. You got your star as well. Right, get your star out. Mount star. All right, and then we'll put the star on top of the tree. Okay, I'm going to come over to here so that I can get my star in the right place. Star's important. Right, back in the plum. Right, here we go. Star. Good enough. Okay, star's in place. That's it. Yeah, I wonder. Let me just check this. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. We've got an infill star as well. Well, that makes life a lot easier. Right. We've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Now, let's have a look. Hearts goes back to the set. And there's two little funky hearts down here. Look, you see them, these ones. So we'll take that little. Cool. We're getting, making the most out of this set, aren't we? Handy. And while we're there. Grab that little cross. See the little cross? Noughts and crosses. Because that's the stand of the tree. Stand of the tree. Right, that'll do. Okay. Mini mounts. One heart. Outline heart. And tree trunk. Okay. That'll do. Right, so we'll fill this in. I'm just mindful of the fact that I've got friends crafting along with me. Right, these are really tiny little stamps, so you don't need to press hard at all. Right, that's that done. <laughs> all right. Do we need that again? That was it. Right, well, I'm going to put that back on its on its little carrier sheet because I, I don't want to lose it. Right, that'll do. Right, that's that one. Uh, next one, hearts. Okay, so we're going to put the outline hearts in next. Outline hearts. Right, you ready? Let's put the outline hearts in the... Yeah, that's easy enough. Right, ready? Plum. There we go. Are you looking forward to Christmas this year? I am this year. Last year, I no, last year wasn't good, was it? But I am really full of hope this year. I think this year is going to be great. Last year, nobody could come home. The kids, because you know, my our kids they live in the states, and um, and they couldn't come home. And my parents couldn't come over. We were all in isolation and oh, in lockdown, and it was just, it was just really. Trying to stay positive wasn't easy, was it? 
and it's still not right still all a bit weird but it's still a lot better i was able to go to marks and spencers and get a pair of pajamas this year <laughs> ba boom hey eh? right now let's have a look red red ink have you got a red ink pad i've got several let me just check which one i want to use because you see if you haven't got a red ink pad that's quite a nice red, that one. What's this? This looks a little bit dried out too. Vermilion. So my plum's going to end up as a prune. <laughs> so I think I might I might just have to rechristen my ink pad. Let's have a look. Red. Okay. And fill. And fill. It's so easy and quick. Look, if you... So that's the thing, I suppose, when you are making Christmas cards, you want to kind of, so it is the occasion where you make several, isn't it? So this is certainly faster than draw to colouring in. So that's nice. It's nice. Right, I've done that. That's that one done. And then, have you got the yellow ink pad? Hang on, let me just get this. Yellow next, I think. Yes. Let's do the yellow one now. And this is the one that's going to see what you do is you you fill in. Look, can you see that all right? Tighter. Right, we're going to fill in those yellow, those yellow dots. You ready? I need to get my head over, so I'm going to bring you in on that camera. Now I've come in closer. Right, so we're just going to fill in. So what you do is you hover. No, I'll do it on this. No, hover with the handle till you're over the top and then you pop in. There you go. So this is this is certainly quicker than colouring in all the dots. But if you haven't got a yellow ink pad, then you just take a yellow pen, don't you? Colour it in that way. There we go. And that's why we've left... The mask in place. I kept thinking, should I take the mask off? Nine, nine, nine. Are we enjoying it? Oh, look, Sonia Goodliffe says you should rename your dried plumbing pad the prune. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Sonia. Lovely to have your company too. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice to hang out together. There you go. Cleans off. And then we're going to use our star. But this time we'll use the infill star while we've got the yellow in the building. So I'm going to replace my... I know it's a fiddle. Well, I say it's a fiddle. It's not really a fiddle, is it? That's why we've got all these fantastic little stamps. That's the whole idea is to... Is to have fun and play. And these are very playful little stamps, aren't they? Right, because we... I mean, we drew these. Do you remember when we drew these? I'll tell you what I was thinking today when I was at Marks and Spencers. They've really missed a trick there. There was nothing Nordic. Nothing Nordic, no gnomes, no gnomes. I mean, you could have a whole from my gnome to your gnome. If I was a Marks and Spencers buyer, I'd have been on the Nordic gnomes this year. The good people. Hmm? Judging by the number of us that are, are going to get going to be sending good, good um, cards and making good crackers. I think Marks and Spencers, they've missed a trick there. Mm. Right, yellow. And hover. My head in the way. Nah. And deliver. There you go. Is that done? Nice, nice. So that's not so hard, is it? Now, let me just see something. Is that heart, oh, do you know what? It doesn't get better than this. So this heart here at the end, I'm going to put my star back. I think that's the thing. When you get stamps like this, you've almost got to put it through its paces. Do you see? Now, let me just show you something else. Humor me, humor me here. I'm not going to use this, but I'll tell you what you could. This could be, oh, look at this right now. I'm going to just do it on a bit of scrap just to show you. So this could be the Christmas tree box. I mean, I'm, I've made a little square now. Let me get a bit of... Um, you're not going anywhere, are you? 
Let me just have a little look. If I was to use, I'm just trying something out. If I were to use the red, let's just try it. I've got a feeling, right? Let me just see this. So that's that red, isn't it? That star, that star. Do you know, we did a quilt like this. Do you remember? This was a really nice one for the quilt because you, for calling all quilters. Look, so you can use this one to make like a, a really excellent quilt. Look, see, for example, let's just say I'm stamping off the edge. Actually, it's better if you can see the corner. So it's better to turn the stamp round a bit like that. Okay, so you've got that now. I'm, I know I digress, but that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so check it out, though. So then if I take that star, you don't have to. You could take the star then. Make sure I don't want to use it again. In, you could take the star and you could put the star in that bit if you wanted to. Do you see? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Right? Look at that. So that's a pretty cool pattern there. That's that's a that's very nice, Barbara. Actually, I I'm winging it here, but I think that's pretty cool. So there you go. Right? It's nice, isn't it? And let me just clean this off a little bit. Just clean that off because I'm going to go into a yellow ink pad now. Let me see if I just a bit orange, Barbara. Go again. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Because I reckon, I know, well, I don't reckon, I absolutely know that if I, there you go. This in yellow sits inside there perfectly. Look, so if I wanted to tone it down a bit so it's not so white, look at this. Isn't that lovely? Cool. Isn't that beautiful? Right, oh, I'm getting the old, I'm getting the knack of this one. Anyway, I think that that is worth knowing that you've got that option with those little stamps. Isn't that cool? Oh, I know. What a lovely, again, gift tags, matching. It's all, it's all tone in tone, isn't it? Yes, Marks and Spencers. This is original artwork, copyright, clarity stamp, open to negotiation for 2022. All emails should be directed to Barbara Gray. Now, let's have a look. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that, and I think we've, we've shown you how to do that. We've made our tree, that's cool too. So the next thing we want to do, we've coloured in the hearts, we've done all that. It's these hearts here that we can colour in. Right, one more mini mount. Because I reckon that's where I got distracted. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that is that heart there. Right, here we go. Okay, so now we can go in and we can fill those yellow corners. So where you can use a stamp, do use a stamp, eh? Right, nice. Easy, isn't it? Easy. There you go. All done. And then when we've done that, we can take away our mask. There you go. To be replaced on our carrier sheet for the next time. She's cool. You know, and you could... You can make all different ones. You know, you could that border would be nice around the outside. I, I like the little thin one. That's cool, isn't it? Easy to colour in as well. Now, let's see. The only other stamping thing we need, we might as well do it now, and then we've done all the stamping and we can settle into colouring in. So let's have a look. We've got I love you, peace and love, from my gnome to yours, from me to you. Just depends who you're sending it to, doesn't it? Be good, do good, feel good. Look, you've even got, I've just realised this. 
If you want to extend this, this box, say you want to make it a little bit bigger. Look, you've got the, the boxes here. You just keep get. you can make, you don't have to, do you see what I mean? Clever, isn't it? And there's a filler. <gasps> there's a filler. So you could actually, oh, lordy, lordy. That means that I could take that one there. I didn't even realize that. You could take that little fella there. And if you wanted to, you could just go yellow, 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 red, 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 red. Well, Barbara, what can I say? I wonder if that will, have you, well, should we try it? Come on then. What have we got to lose? Let's put that to one side. And I, I'm not using the heart anymore, so I, I'm running out of mounts here, though. So I'm going to just put my put a couple of hearts down, put those down again. And I'm not using these, so I'll replace these as well. I think it's it's key to hang on to your stamps, don't you? All right, there you go. I don't need that one anymore either. In fact, I'm replacing them all now. Just going to hang on to the ones that I'm using, hey? Do you agree? All right, mount's all back. But that's the thing. You just mount all the ones you need for the period that you're making this design and then replace them all back on your little carrier sheet. Right, now let's see if this works. I'm going to go with a light colour first. I can't see why... Oh, I can't see why this wouldn't work, but I'll give it a go anyway. Let's just see. If I go yellow, yellow... The heart ones are the yellow ones. Yellow. Oh, Barbara. Yellow. Hey, I tell you what, this has got to be the quickest solution. And so easy. Oh, check it out. This beats colouring in, people. <laughs> hey? Isn't that lovely? Right, there we go. Certainly beats colouring all these in by hand takes a lot longer trust me right let's go round all the hearts we're just working on the hearts here we go this is quite this is that job where you yeah and you know the other thing is it's what we were talking about in the shack on thursday do you join me in the shack on Thursdays at 10 o'clock? I'm really kind of trying to get into being, doing what I'm doing. See, you, I just caught myself there. I, look, I was up here and I thought, oh, mate, it's going to take forever. And I thought, well, hang on a minute. I'm not whistling around this card. The whole idea is to be creative and hang out together and do something pleasant together, not knock out a load of Christmas cards. Is, oh. <laughs> Here you go. And I'm not going to, I know I'm fast because I'm fast, I'm faster than the average bear anyway because it's what I do for a living. So I've got to be aware that there will be lots of good people at home that take a little longer. And do you know what? That's all right too. Not a race. There you go. Isn't that pretty? How pretty is that? Yeah. Here's one. Why did the turkey join the band? Why did the turkey join the band? Because it had the drumsticks. <laughs> so does it mean to make you jump? <laughs> Have you got any jokes? Did you bring any? Come on, keep them coming. Keep them coming. I'm letting you catch up now with the with the yellow. Are you caught up? Can we start with the red yet? Ah. 
What else we got? <laughs> Some of them are very good, aren't they? What kind of motorbike does Santa Claus ride? <laughs> a Holly Davidson. <laughs> Corny. Corny. Right, come on then. Now we're going for the red. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, this is in one of their moods. Right. Oh, no, not plum, Barbara. Ah, not plum, Gray. Not plum. Delete. Good job. Good job. She caught that. Let me try the red one now. Okay. Red. Nice. All right. Yeah. See, even those little stamps, they're nice and arty, aren't they? Okay, now we're going for the red. Let's have a look. You ready? <laughs> red. Quite dark, Barbara. Quite dark. And she keeps going regardless because she started and therefore she will continue. Vermilion. Well, I can't change channels now, can I? That'll do. Oh, no, it looks all right once you've got round, doesn't it? Once you've actually, once you get in the zone. There we go. I wonder if you went ink block plot, whether it would be no, a bit faded. What do you think? Do you think more faded would be better? Oh, it's a bit late now, Grey. Mm -hmm. Might look good, though, if you did second generation ink. Hey, just saying, next time you try it, try it with a second generation ink. It might not be quite so... So you could go like that. That's what I mean. No, it's a bit wishy-washy, isn't it? Go again. See, so you got red, but it's a little bit insipid, isn't it? Now it's going to be really dark. <laughs> oh, hours of play. That'll do. Just turn the artwork around so that it's comfortable for you. You know what I mean? Just work. What's easier for you? Just, just go for it. Nice, nice, nice. So you got a turkey yet? Have you managed to reserve a turkey after that run on turkeys last month? <laughs> hey? What a load of cobblers, eh? I got sucked right in. Ordered me Kelly bronze. And then I thought, well, I hope everybody's coming to dinner because this is a bird. We'll be eating it till February otherwise. All right. There you go. Nice. So we've done that and we've done that. Do you know what? I've just realised... I went, I went off on a little one there, didn't I? And we didn't put the words in. Have you decided what words you're going to use yet? From my gnome to yours, I, I'm going to, I'm going to think about my words while you catch up. How's that? Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty anyway. Let's have a think. I love you. From me to you. From my gnome to yours. Well, no, I'm going to go from, from me to you. This is going to be a personal one. A personal one. Because it's, yeah, that's it. And I'm going to pop that in there like that. And I'm going to practice it on a piece of scrap first. Because the last thing you want to do is do all this work and then get the words wrong. Nice. I mean, you could always put a butterfly on it, as they say. That'll do. Right, so that's that stamped into place. Okay, and now for 
colouring her in. You ready for this? Doesn't take too long, does it? Now, what else we got? What did the sea say to Santa? <laughs> what did the sea say to Santa? What did the sea say to Santa? Nothing. It just waved. <laughs> really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> what did the sea say to Santa? It just waved. What's Santa's favourite place? <laughs> What's Santa's favourite place to deliver presents? Ida ho ho ho. Ida ho ho ho. <laughs> Anybody here from Ida ho ho ho? Right, come on. Stop fannying about, Barbara. And let's get the colour in. Right, I'm going to put that. That is a very important little block, I can tell you, isn't it? Right result. Now, if you'd have to colour all that in by hand, you'd know all about it, wouldn't you? Hmm? I wonder if you could change the colour of the yellow. Let me just try this in the corner. Let me just do it and let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. If you had time on your hands, <laughs> see, look, you could just change the yellow a little bit. That's quite nice, you know, isn't it? What do you think? What am I using? I'm using a pen. Perga colour number one. And I'm using the bullet end, not the little fine end. We don't need it for this because it's... Good enough. This is me getting you to catch up. So these, you see, we can use these straight, straight to on top of the ink. And because it's yellow, actually, it really is easy to, because um, it's a light colour. I find light colours, the lighter pens are easy to, that you don't get like um, marks, you know, when you use um felt tip pen sometimes you get a little bit of a stain don't you i want to show you yeah nice little touches okay so let's have another look what we're going to do now is color her in and we've got choices now so what are you going to do are you going to use i've got to read a little bit of this i'm starving are you going to use pencils or are you going to use perga colors what do you think? Or, or both? Mm -hmm. You could use both. What I would recommend you do is get a little bit of card to practice on. Once you figure it out, it's easy. And it's also good when you're practicing to practice on the same sort of card you're working on. There's no point. I'm working on a piece of copy paper and going, yeah, that works like a charm. And then go to the stencil card and boff. Doesn't work like a charm. Okay, let's keep going. Are you still up for this? Are we all right? Gracie says, what did Santa... <laughs> Grace, Grace, you are the best. What did Santa do when he went speed dating? <laughs> he pulled a cracker. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, Grace. So that means my daughter's in the building from New York, does it? Excellent. Okay. Right. What we're doing now, you've thrown me, Gracie. She sent me a little text. <laughs> and what did Adam say on the day before Christmas? It's Christmas Eve. 
All right, come on, come on in and stop mucking about. Okay, so what we need now, we're going to go with our, I'll show you two different options and then you decide whether you want to go with the pens. If you're going to go with the pens, I did mention the numbers, so you get them out, all right, or you can use the old, the old colouring pencils, can't you? Perga colours. But we could have a little go of both, couldn't we? Should we try that? Let's have a look. See, the yellows are easy to use. Um, but the, let's say the reds are quite dark, aren't they? So if we're going to do her hat, I'll show you. So when you colour in quite a big area, let's take a, a red bullet pen like this, right? When you colour it in, one, it's very dark, isn't it? And two, when you go like that and you go over the top, see how you get, you know how when when felt tip pens, look, if it's too too dark, oh, it's, it's too much. That would spoil that. Let's try the lighter one. But it doesn't mean they're not brilliant. It just means you've got to do, so the lighter one's a little bit, okay, it's red. It's a, it's a different red, isn't it? So now, thing is though, if we add a little bit of water, tiny little amount of water, we don't want to spoil the nib. But what we can do is take our mix mat. There's mine. Here it is. So I've got my mix mat and I've got a bit of copy paper just so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, I'll put that over there for a minute. Okay. And then I need a little bit of water. All right. So I've squirted a little bit of water onto my mix mat. But I'm not going to hose this down. That's not the that's not the point. That's just right. And then you want a little bit of paper towel. All right. Just try it out. This is a way to to kind of to help the the, the felt tip pens spread better. Spread better. Bed spreader. Spread better. Right. So this is what we're going to do. And we'll just try it on a bit of scrap first. All right. All right, two. So we'll scribble, not into the water. We'll just scribble some of that colour. So this is the lighter one, because you think you're going to prefer the lighter one, don't you? It's, still a bit, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? And then I'll take my paintbrush, my tiny little paintbrush, and I'll wet it. Oh, it's already got a bit of red on it from when I was practising earlier. And then I'll dilute this colour a little bit, like that. Now let's see what colour it goes. Right, need a bit more water, but not too much, because then it will change colour. Right, so that's not bad, look, friends. See how it changes? Right, so that's the colour that we're going for here. So that's the light one. Now let's try the darker one. Because if it, because you'd think, no, I'm not going to use that. It's way too dark. Well, and it may well be, but when you dilute it, it may well not be. Add a bit of water again, not too much though. If you hose it down, I'll tell you why I say not too much. Because if you use too much, it will bleed. It will bleed outside the line. When they, they, you don't want that either. So now let's have a look. See, that's gone quite pink. Isn't it? So this is actually probably, so they're both quite pink, but I have a solution. I do, I do. So you can use pens like this really easily. You can, look, friends, options, choices, choices, choices. You can do it like that, or you can use your pencils. And if you use your pencils, if you use your aqua pencils, let's get a red. I'm just showing you all the different choices you've got. Let's use a red. This is a Afa aqua. And let's do this. We can check, can't we? Which one do we want to go with? Cool, that's a bit of a, it's a dark one, isn't it? Right, this isn't a red. Let's see. So that's quite nice, isn't it? That works quite well. Okay. But again, that's a choice we've got. I've got that one as well. Okay. Or I can go in with the blending pen just straight into. I can use the blending pen. 
Now that one does not move when I put... What have I got here then? Well, well, I'll be. You can use both then, can you? No, it doesn't move, you see. The blending pen doesn't move with water. I thought for a minute there, have I got something else going on here? Right, so we've got loads of different choices, but I'll tell you what, a combo is brilliant too. So, I've got all my colours out. We're going to give her a red hat. And I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the, um, the darker of the reds. There we are. Uh, the darker of the reds. What about you? What do you think? I'm going to go with the darker of the red pens. I think that's going to be, not because it's the fastest, just because I think it's it's the nicest. Right, now I'll just clean off my... Right, get that colour going. That'd be good. Now, this is where you've got to navigate around those. This is a challenge. We're going to navigate around the yellow. Yeah? <laughs> Not yellow yet, though. Right, you ready? So, tiny little brush. And then let's let's just start and we're going to just start dropping that colour through there. There you go. Just start bringing that colour round. And the, 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 this little brush, have you got a nice little brush? So you don't want it too wet. If it's too wet, it will bleed outside the line art. But you see, it's coming up quite nicely like this, isn't it? So I'm staying on this side, on this, not on this side of the, the hat, because it's going to be the shadow, if you like. So there you go. Just come round. Just pull that through. Doesn't take long, does it? There we are. Just drop it through and then push it through. Nice, eh? That's it. And we'll come round this side. Maybe pick up a bit more, just a bit more. Maybe a bit lighter now, see? See, not too much though. Right, here we go, a bit more water there, grey. So this side is a little bit lighter, you see? So I'll bring that round. Nice. There. Cool, isn't it lovely when you colour in? Don't you find colouring in is so, so therapeutic. Nothing quite like it. There we are. So it's a little bit lighter on that side. See, it's a bit of shadow. That's what I was trying to do. Just create a little bit of shadow on that side. Quite good. It's quite good, Barbara. Not bad at all. And then her dress, see? So you've got her dress as well. So let's have a look. We've got red, 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 and then red stripes on the we can cope with that, can't we? Ready? So we'll do missing missing out the buttons. So add a little bit of red there. So this is quite light. I can always go in and make it darker afterwards. Let's just make sure we've got the right. The right areas, haven't we? So we can make this one light and relax. Are we okay to keep going for a little while? Hey, is the sticky ink still sticky? Well, that's a question I'm going to find out in a minute. Let's have a look. Let's just add a little bit of. I know, I'm wondering if the sticky ink's still sticky, Pat. Should we, have a, should we have a little check? Oh, all right. Let me just get the red in place. There's a little bit of her dress there. Let's get the stripes in. Now it's starting to come together, isn't it? So you can add a little bit more depth. So we got a bit more color in that one. So I've used, I've used pencils, I've used pens. Whatever you fancy. Right. Now let's get this. Yeah. 
nice. These little paintbrushes are quite good. They're the Pergamano ones, actually. The number two. We've got a number six sable hair, which is pretty excellent. Um, and then we've got um, the number two, which is like hairs, isn't it? There you go. Nice. So we've got that. I keep coming back into these two areas because I want to get a kind of a contrast going. See? There, yeah, that's good. And if we want a little bit of shadow, we can always add a bit of shade there. I could do that with pencils afterwards as well. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Right. The red's a bit different to the other red, but do I really worry about that? No. Right, shall we see if this... Glitter, if, if the sticky ink works, then we can always come back to that. Let that dry for a minute while we are having a look at the sticky ink. Well, let's check. Because maybe we put some up there at the beginning of the hour and then we did the hat ones like a long time ago, closer to lunchtime, actually. Right, let's have a look. What are we going to use then? Uh, ultra fine glitter. Now, Perga Glitter. Let's check. These are made for us by WOW. Here in the UK, hint of silver, hint of pink. Who oh, I think? Hint of gold, hint of blue, hint of green, hint of copper. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking, are you thinking gold as well? Oh, all right then. Did that say pink? No, I don't want to do pink. I'm going to do gold. Just need to put this underneath because in a minute I'm going to see what we've got, shall we? Well, let's see if it worked. So this is what I did ages ago, this, right, earlier on. And then this is what I did at the beginning of the show. Show, good grief, at the beginning of our little get together. Right, so let's see. I don't think I've put any anywhere else, have I? No. All right, well, let's see if it worked, Pat. Oh, I say, I say, I say. Let me just puff it. <sighs> Try not to spit at your artwork when you do that. There you go, Pat. It works. Look at the hat. Check the hat out. That's from all those hours ago. Can you see? Still glittery on the little dots where I put it. Yeah. Is that good enough? And then what this bit here I did. So let's have a look. Let me just... Let me put this back in the pot before we have another little moment to remember. Mm-hmm. There we go. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Go on. That's right. <laughs> do. I'm actually really looking forward to Christmas. And this is kind of getting me in the mood. It's a little bit premature, I have to say. <laughs> I know it is. Are you going to join me on Christmas Day? Because I was thinking that it would be nice just for just for 10 minutes, just for 15 minutes, not for a craft along, not for anything else. But let's say, what did we say at 10 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day? What is Christmas Day this year? Is it, um, is it a Saturday or a Sunday? I don't even know. But why don't we say now that we'll just get together before everything starts and Let's just get together for 10 minutes on that Sunday and have a, you know, just have a little get, just a little chat and, and have a coffee together. And it will be great because there are several people, many people who are alone over Christmas, you know. And if, if we all just get together just for a little while, then they won't be alone. 
Right. I need a brush. Let me reach across in my tartan. Right. And I'm just going to dust off the surplus so that we can see exactly where it's stuck. Right, Pat Hoskins, rising to the challenge. Check this out in the center. See it? What we just did. All glittery. See it? But most importantly, the hat. I can feel it. It's absolutely bang on. Really chuffed. Really chuffed that that worked. There you go. Good, good, good. Of course, it's all getting glittery in here now. So that works. It definitely does. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you. So we've got some yellow to put on there too. But let me show you something. I was When I was fiddling about, because I, I looked at this, oh, it's gone a bit pink really. But if you take, if you take the red, the B pencil, right, and you go over the top, just try it, humor me. It goes on, it, sli it slides, and it's, watch it, watch the color change. When you put the B pencil over the top of the pink, or the, the Perga color, it changes so nicely. It just seems to take that pinkness away, but not the, not the contrast, you see? just makes such a difference. Anyway, I thought, because I know that the Perga colors, you know, you've got the watercolor pencils and you've got the B pencils in the same box. I thought, and it, you try it and you'll see what I mean. It glides on, it's so lovely. Look how I've changed the color of that now. So it's gone from that pink, really quickly too, it just glides. You've got to actually try it to understand what I'm talking about. It's like it's like colouring in on silk when you do this. Isn't it? It's really cool. Yeah. You you've got to you've got to do it to understand what I'm saying. I'm just think we figured out a really like a a quick way. Do you know when we were doing the the crackers a couple of weeks ago in the shack? Crack a shack. Do you remember? I know I digress. But you know when we were doing this and it was taking quite a long time, wasn't it, to colour them in? I bet if you did this, Dee did this one for me, you know how it was taking quite a long time to colour them in? All right, let's have a look. And I think, I have a feeling mm -hmm, that we may have we may have stumbled upon a way. Look, these are lovely, look. And they're nice, look. Colin, it's Jane Telford, Elaine Milner. I'm trying what I'm saying is Elaine Milner. Isn't that lovely? I think we found a way to get that lovely. Look, this is lovely. One of these ones. Another one by D. Isn't that gorgeous? Um to get that lovely, rich, dark effect by doing an undercoat. This is what I'm trying to get to. Doing an undercoat with um, with a diluted version of this and then going over the top and straight away. Look, it didn't. Do you know how long it, it's, it's taken? It takes to get to that effect. And yet I'm nearly there already. And I've really not done much at all. So. I think we may have stumbled upon a really neat way of getting this kind of fabulous depth. Seems how I can come in here now with my pencil. And if I want to add shadow, you know, like here, this kind of thing, you, it's, it's, you're doing it and you'll realize it changes. It's, um, it just feels so different with, the, with an undercoat of that. Okay. So there you go. Just saying. Have you got yours? Have you got your crackers yet? I'm going to do this. I'm doing this for Christmas this year. Sorry, Marks and Spencers. I'm making my own this year. I am. Well, 
I'm going to, yeah, and I'm going to make them to go with our plates as well. Yes, 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 yes. So if you want to do that as well, if you want to rise to that challenge, you know we've got the sets, we've got the postcards. So you've got six, how many are there, Paul? I think there are six postcards. Is it six? No, 12 postcards. Is that right? 12 postcards, 12 crackers, 12 quid. I'm sure that's what we said. Isn't that right? Paul will enlighten us. I'm sure he will. Christmas Day is a Saturday and he says, I'll be with you. Ah, uh, good. Good. Good, Paul. That'd be nice. I don't think I've ever in my life been able to make a mince pie last this long. Uh oh. <laughs> right. So we've done that. We need a little bit of yellow now. Yellow. So let's just add a little bit of yellow here and a little bit to the nose, the cheeky nose. Shall we? Oh, where have I put the original card? This is where I grabbed all the... Oh, here it is. Underneath the ribbon. There she is. Okay. So, star, scarf. It doesn't take long, does it? Yellow. Let's decide what yellow we're going to use. So that one is number one. That one's a little bit more orangey. Okay. So I suppose you could do that every other one of these. So that that now I'm using the super fine end. See, and if you do every other one, it looks it gets dimensional. That's pretty cool. Nice. Didn't take too long, did it, Barbara? No, no, no. Right, and then how about, we'll leave that bit white. Let's just go with this one. And we'll do a little bit of the two different yellows for the stripes and the scarf, okay? I'm really pleased with that idea of doing the, um, I think it's a really good trick. What have we got here? Yellow. Okay, that's quite a, that's quite a citrusy yellow there, Grey. She's got quite bright. That'd be nice. That'll do. There you go. And then what about the other yellow? It's a bit orangier. Let's do some shadow on that one there. Right, let's try something else out then. And then take the bright yellow. And bleed it into the orange, the dark. Oh yeah, see, and then you've you've got your shadow as well. Cool. I think that's better. Uh, so, yeah, it is. It's better. Yeah, gotcha. It's it's six of one and a half dozen of the other, but I think it's easier to put. Let's just put a little bit of shadow like there's. Right, put the, the darker orange where you want it, like the darker yellow, and then go into it with the bright yellow, and then you'll find, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, when you do that, it blends in really nicely. Cool. Well, learning, 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 eh? Man lernt nie aus. Und auch wenn man so alt wird wie ein Haus. That's what my mum always says. It sounds a lot nicer in German than it does in English. <laughs> Man lernt nie aus. That means one never stops learning. Und auch wenn man so alt wird, and even when one gets as old, wenn man so alt wird, wie ein Haus, as a house. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Man lernt nie aus. Und auch wenn man so alt wird, wie ein Haus. Hmm. I'm going to leave a little bit of white 
so it looks like the the shoes are shiny you see just there that's nice right let's do that cheeky nose the huge hooter pink now we don't want it to be too dark though she hasn't got a boozy hooter has she she's just got a nice fleshy pink nose so why don't we use our see and that's where you can use your your stash only thing is though i think i might have to clean the red <laughs> otherwise oh, she will have a boozy hooter if i don't clean my oh bra bra hang on a minute I just need to clean my the red off my paintbrush so that it doesn't so her nose doesn't go proper red. <laughs> right, that'll do. How are you doing? Are you looking? Are you watching Children in Need as well? Are you giving? I hope that we're getting in the right generous, lovely mood to give. Hmm. I think they're doing a fantastic job. I look forward to watching it later. Now, let's see. I need a little bit of water. A little bit of water. There you go. Just to wet the paintbrush. Just to loosen up that. That's it. I guess the thing to know is that there are so many different ways to apply colour, aren't there? Whether you you go direct, whether you use the, the perga colours, the felt tips, whether you dilute them. So I'm going to leave a little bit of white there again, just because it looks, yeah, it just looks like the sun's hitting it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we've got, so we've got some, let's do the, the hair as well, shall we, while we've got this in, in place again. I'm going to use the three this time. It's a little bit browner, see, but it's a little bit dark. So I'll just go in there and that will lighten up the hair nicely. Right. Don't want it to bleed though. So we don't want to overcook it with water there. And then we'll just bring that down. It's a lot faster than you think, isn't it? To do all this. Do you like colouring in? Do you? I do. One of the best things, isn't it? I can always add a little bit of shadow. This is where you could go in with a pencil afterwards and add a bit of shade, couldn't you? But it's pretty, it's pretty easy to do like this, really, isn't it? Got a bit of hair around there. Now, what did we decide to do with her scarf? Some and some, wasn't it? Let's do a bit of bright yellow here and there. There. It's not bad at all, is it? Got any more Christmas cracker jokes for me? Who hides in the bakery at Christmas? I'll give you a clue. A mince pie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, what else we got here? Okay. Uh, what about... How does good King Wenceslas like his pizzas? <laughs> this is a good one. How does good King Wenceslas like his pizzas? Deep pan, crisp and even. <laughs> Hang on. Deep pan, crisp and even. <laughs> Good King Wenceslas last looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about. Deep pan, crisp and even. <laughs> You won't be able, never again will you be able to listen to that carol and not think of pizza. <laughs> Deep and crisp and even, 
<laughs> that was a really good one, Barbara. Even if I say so myself. There you go. Oh, look, we've forgotten the little yellow dots before we put the glitter in. And then I think we've almost reached our conclusion. Hey, is anyone still there apart from you and me, Paul? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, though. Shadow, shadow, shadow. I probably wouldn't go straight direct with the grey one. The grey one's really cool. It's nice. It's nice. But you don't really, really want to go piling into your card with that grey. I think this is one that you really, really probably want to tone down a bit. And we're going to anchor her and we're just going to dip, 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 dip like that with the with the watered down brush look see just give the the tree a base look so it's not all and you could use the direct you could use direct but i think this looks pretty cool like this don't you there you go bit of groundwork there that's nice like that and while we've got a bit of gray in our hands and why don't we add a little bit of grey to the, there we go. Let's add a little bit of something, je ne sais quoi, to the hat. Hmm. Are you wearing your pyjamas or am I the only one? Hmm. Paul Church? Carol Baker, who delivers presents to cats? Santa Paws. <laughs> Nice one. <laughs> nice one. Why couldn't the skeleton go to the Christmas party? Because he had nobody to go with. <laughs> oh, boom, boom. <laughs> Got any more? Come on, keep them coming, keep them coming. Who does Santa's helpers call when they're ill? Go on. Who does Santa's helpers call when they're ill? The National Elf Service, of course. <laughs> I can hear you groaning. There, isn't that lovely? Oh, well, I like it. Now, let's see what we can do with this. Do we think, is it going to be too, see, it's quite dark if it goes on. See the difference? But we could put a couple of little dots in. But look at the difference when you go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why we dilute it. You wouldn't think that it was the same colour pen, would you? When you dilute it and make that lovely grey. Hmm? We it's got a life of its own. So there you go. And then when you've done that and you've coloured it in nicely and you're happy, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. There you go. Do you know? I think we're pretty much done, don't you? See, and then a bit of water wipes all that off. Or you can leave it on there for, for Ron, for later on, if you want. But just a little bit of water cleans that off nicely. That's that done. So we've done a bit of glitter. We know how that works. You can always do that afterwards. And then all I've done is mounted this on... Um, on a mount, on a, a card blank. So this is six by six. So I'm guessing that's going to be a seven by seven that I've used there. Let me just check for you. Where's my ruler gone? I did have a ruler here. There we go. Let me just check. S seven by seven. That's it. So it's a seven by seven card blank. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Shadow around there on the nose. Nice. There you go. And then we could put a little bit oh, even in the could use that same colour in the hair. So that's quite nice. Just give it a bit of depth. Mm -hmm. I do like titivating, don't you? Anyway, happy Friday, hey? We've had a good time. It's been harmless. It's been creative. It's been safe. It's been fun. Which I think is what it's all about, isn't it? That's what it's all about, my friends. Staying safe and finding a little bit of joy in life. So there you go. I think we'll call it a day. We got any more? Have we got any more jokes? Let's have a look. What carol is heard in the desert? Oh, camel, ye fair camel. Oh, camel, ye faithful. Oh, camel, ye faithful. What type of key do you need for a nativity play? A donkey. <laughs> and what else we got? What happens to elves when they're naughty? Santa gives them the sack. <laughs> um, <laughs> and what do you do if you cross Santa with a duck? No, what have you got if you cross Santa with a duck? A Christmas quacker. <laughs> so on that happy note, I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you and I'm going to wish you a really... Uh, fabulous Christmas. <laughs> I'm having a good weekend. We'll worry about Christmas when Christmas comes. Don't be fretting about Christmas. It's not even December yet. Has anybody seen any Christmas dis Christmas decorations out? We've got a neighbour up the road, right? You know that that neighbour, that nightmare neighbour? Like it's lit up like a Christmas grotto. It's already lit up like a Christmas grotto, like major with the blow up deer and it is amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Um, I'll have to drive past with Dave when it's dark tomorrow. Uh, it's just up Green Lane, it's very good. And uh, yesterday, oh, and on, on, on Darland Avenue, when I took my mum up there, um, we went for a drive and I said, check out the garden, mum. And you know, she couldn't believe it. It's, it's the middle of November and the garden is like, it's like Santa's Grotto. Fantastic. Each to their own. Live and let live. Whatever gives people joy. If that makes them happy, then that's what they should do. You know, I think so too. I might put some Christmas lights out this year too. Last year we didn't do anything. Anyway, have a fantastic weekend. Paul, thank you so much for your help. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas quacker jokes. And uh, I still think Dave's one was the best one. There was a quite a, co it was just <laughs> about the, the, the bloke who got fired in the, what, what was it? Who, why did the man get the sack from the orange juice factory? Because he was taking the piff. <laughs> they've got that, they've made it up. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, lots of love. Have a smashing evening. Go and watch Children in Need and give a few pennies. Every little helps. Every little helps. I'm going to go over now and see and see what I can donate. Okay, lots of love. Bye-bye now. Be safe. And thanks again, Paul.